And deeper still, the morbid mystery entwines. What love I ever had for life should find its place in here. Locked within a cankered cell, beset by madmen, chained to hell. And deeper still, a vast, dark love I find within Asylum's darkly thrumming heart. No love of mine, not mine to love. For twisted is the purity of that finer thing, and I should lay my partly living down to free the world from terror's tyranny. Well, hopefully at least I'll remember to include that cutscene again. God. Anyone who, um, I can guess the answer, I have been to this little area, well, the opening section of this, once before, but I forgot to record the cutscene. So, hopefully... Speaking of which, just down there, that's going to be... Actually, I don't know if that's going to be important, but it's going to be accessible when we get a new voodoo item. Uh, speaking of which, voodoo items, voodoo items, flambeer. Combination torch, which is very useful. You know, I actually tried turning up the gamma, but apparently ScreenFlow doesn't record the gamma upgrade. It's like um, when I try to record amnesia. Whatever they do to actually increase the uh, brightness on the display itself, for some reason it doesn't translate onto my screen when I record at all. Not sure what that's about. Though even though I can see things a lot more clearly, uh, you guys are still going to be stuck with things being a bit murky. Or using that second-hand... Um, YouTube gamma upgrade thing. It's one of the few of their changes and upgrades to their system I actually like. The fact that I can, you know, correct the gamma just a little bit. You do it too much and it makes everything horrendously blurry and bleh. But you know, just on, on the basic setting it can make things a bit more visible. Which is very good because seeing for some reason YouTube automatically darkens videos when you upload them as well. Something they've still not corrected, even after all these years. And I'm not the only one who's noticed as well. Sure as well, not the only one who's complained either. Right. I ran out of air moment. <gasps> For great justice. Oh, bugger. Yeah. It's a drop! Basically. You know, thankfully, they're actually, you know, I'm not sure if it's a good or a bad thing, they're only low level enemies. I mean, I could quite. I could run rings around um, the dumpies and the zombie mothers and shit. These guys with their, you know, single but long range attack. They're actually more difficult to deal with than you believe. Mm. Oh, well, what I think, uh, I did upgrade Shadow Man's health. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I had 100 Cadillacs and I was going to the Temple of Life anyway, so I thought, you know what, fuck it. May as well. As it turns out, it might have been a good thing. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have actually survived that little ambush if I didn't have the extra bar of health. Hmm. Now, is that for fortuitous? I'm speaking far, far too fast today. Whether I could have drunk about a pint of tea. Using this giant novelty mug next to me. Just being very, very thirsty this morning for some reason. I should have gone with water or juice or something rather than caffeine, but hey. That's the kind of thing that inspires backwards rope walking. Or rope climbing. You, know, you get the general idea. Hmm. Even in my days off, I can't get away from trains. I remember the controls, it's been... I think it's been actually almost a fortnight since I actually played this last. I've mentioned it before in other games, but it's the downside to recording in bulk. Yes, you've always got a stock of stuff to upload, but on the other hand... Oh, for fuck's sake. Because uh, it's so long in between sessions, it's very easy to lose your skills. Or lose your edge, at least, anyway. Case in point, this man failed to kill the giant big man by shooting him in the ass. In fact, if I'm perfectly honest, I'm not sure how I failed to kill him. I don't think that's even technically possible. Yet somehow I managed it. Then again, my main skills in video games are, is, you know, running away rather than combat, but still. Surprise! Surprise again. Mm, three shots, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Eventually we'll get to the stage where we're like, um, I think it starts around level 7. Where even these tougher enemies, you can not exactly one-shot them, but you can take them down and... You know, hit in a bit, as it were. Probably they should put us on the way. Nope. Still level 5. Actually, am I level 5 or am I level 4? I'm pretty sure it's 5. Yeah, it's 5. I think. I uh, can't actually see the uh, counter well enough to tell. See, uh, I don't know if you guys 
I don't, I don't know if I've mentioned it or if you guys are just aware in general. I'm actually recording this in windowed mode. Because as of yet, the full screen mode for Shadow Man doesn't work too well. Uh, and even when you do get it working properly, uh, because it's a wineskin port, why can't I get rid of that? Hmm. Can I push it? Can't see properly. Hmm. It's just a wooden block, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can push it, good. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the wineskin stuff, um, it doesn't translate very well to full screen. Or rather, it doesn't actually become full screen, if that makes any sense. It expands the corner of the screen it takes up across the entirety of the screen. And the way it does that means that certain recording programs, um, screen flow included, can't quite understand what's going on, so they just record a black screen. Basically, they record the portion of the screen that's not actually being recorded on, which is a pain in the ass. So yeah, basically, I can't play this game in full screen. Not, well, not on record at the same time, anyhow. That went badly. <sighs> now eventually, something of actual importance is going to be hidden behind one of these. Every single flammable screen I've come across so far, all it's had behind is a Kajax or a bit of extra voodoo. That makes it pointless. You know, it's just a way of getting back down there when I need to. Well, that said, I... I can't think of any time I'm going to need to use this particular area to transverse. Hmm. I love the lighting effects on the PC version for this. So again, on other versions I've played, it's just like a generic ambient glow that appears when you get the flambeau out. It's actually you know, it's strobing colours and shit. It's mostly yellows and reds, true, but still. Lovely. Hmm. It's like let down by the muddy textures and the fact that it is clearly just a texture rather than an actual object. I mean, this is supposed to be bumpy velvet, but it's completely flat. Oh good, more of you assholes in cells. Just run past there as quickly as you bloody well can. Hope the door closed properly behind us. If it didn't... Ah, fuck. I'm still getting soul drained. The door must still be open. Oh good, he's got a gun. Believe it or not, that is a good thing. So thankfully, he will not have the common sense to rush toward me and attempt to melee me. At least not, usually, anyhow. Seems I keep ducking and diving and shooting him, as I just did. It'd be much more problematic to try and take care of a, uh, a regular guy. I need the engineer's key. Again, very fortunate that every single machine in this place runs from the same operating key. Seriously, just a single change in locking mechanism and I'd be screwed. At least until I murdered the guy who had the appropriate key, anyhow. They considering everyone is an insane monster in this place other than us, I doubt, uh... The idea of someone's... Well, someone killing the guy who's got the key is a very real possibility, but them actually taking the key and using it, that's much more unlikely. In case you're wondering, by the way, that's exactly what our trains look like here in Britain. Dark and ominous and foreboding. Not as punctual as this one, admittedly, but still. Okay. Time for murder. Not getting any lock ons. That's, it. That's the only thing I do like about this lock on system. It's that little lock on stuff through walls. Gives you a brief, uh. Not really a brief, a complete overview of exactly what you're facing. Which is, uh. very useful. No, for pity's sake. That is less useful. Sort of a lack of finesse in the lock-on system that kind of means that um, if someone wonders in front of your target, they'll usually end up taking the bullet instead, or the lock-on system will jump to them. Which is about as unhelpful as it sounds. In case you were thinking it sounded particularly unhelpful, it is. It really, really is. Almost as unhelpful as a dickhead who goes and stands behind... I wouldn't mind if he was doing this on purpose, but clearly he's just walking around in circles trying to figure out where I am. Which makes things a bit more irritating, really. Can you just die already? I said boom, boom, boom. Big man here, so ah! Boom, boom, boom. Screaming every day. Uh, he's not particularly a threat, but I could leave him alive for now. 
can't remember how you get to that area. I think you have to climb up on the pipes here, maybe? Do a bit of fancy jumping from the um, safety rail up onto the pipe. Mm, probably. Maybe. Possibly. Not entirely certain. Well, he's dead now anyway, so it's a moot point. Okay. So now I'm slopping my chops and stuff quite a lot at the moment. But like I say, I've drunk quite a lot of liquid, so my mouth is particularly moist. Like a fine cake. But you know, more for the eating than the being consumed. Unless you're a cannibal. I suppose, maybe. Uh, hey there, how's it going? Probably put your shield up, dude. Yeah, I found out the hard way. These guys die surprisingly quickly as long as they don't get that bloody shield in the way. It absorbed at least two or three shots. Probably less once you powered up the gun a bit more. But in the meantime, it's just generally a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Speaking of which... Ah, lock on. Excellent. Not really excellent, but it means that we know there's something in that general direction. That's what I'm saying. Nope, still no extra shadow level. Mm, probably gonna take a while, I guess. Oh, you fuck off. Pissing things. Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Uh. Yeah. Doesn't actually go anywhere, just bounces back and forth. Yeah, fair enough. Jump! He equipped the stuff so you can actually grab onto things, Mike. Probably the best idea. Mm. Eleven souls, really? Hmm. I was sworn I had more than 34 in total as well. Yeah, I'll watch some videos back later. See if there's anything I've missed out, perhaps. I've got the raw file so I can check whether um, my totals aren't tallying what I think I should have. Seriously, can I not log on to you at all? I'm a few seconds in the game where I can't log on to someone. What the hell, right? I hear chainsaws. Hey there, how's it going? Eat it to the face, basically. Thankfully you don't have a shield. Yeah. I'm not complaining or anything. Just saying, thankfully you don't. Right, pigman with the claw hand, you please feck off. You're being very, very annoying. Do you need your help though? Your soul is mine. Come on, what you got, lock, stock and two smoking ham hocks? Bye. Goodbye to you. You fat sack of shit now. Ah, oh. wasn't the most eloquent ending to a song I've ever produced, but still, I think it's uh, it's relevant. That's all that really matters at the end of the day. Surprise, surprise. Suddenly a wraith of death was up your ass. Hmm. Right, right. Goodies. Goodies and things. Need goodies and... Oh, hello. Still one of you left. You coming down or am I coming to you? How are we gonna do this, son? It's my way or the highway. But yet. Let's do things the way I always do things. Let's run away. Let's run away more. Let's run away the best. What reason do we've got a better plan? Collision. Ah, no matter what game I play, it always screws me over. Wait, uh, can I get a decent angle on you from over here? Yes, I can. As long as the sky cage thing stays out of the way. I'm not sure what the point of these cages is, actually, come to think of it. They don't seem to be openable in any fashion, they seem to be going back and forth, back and forth. I mean, I know this is a place of madness and whatnot. So we're not meant to question these things too closely, but still, it does seem rather pointless. It's like knocking me me to invert these pissing aiming controls. It's really counterintuitive. At least after years of, you know, playing with standard uh, analog controls on, you know, consoles. Actually, it reminds me a little bit of playing stuff like um, Turok and whatnot back on the N64. They had these weird inverse control systems as well. The pain in the ass then as well. Hmm. I'm presuming the game expects me to climb across without the cage knocking me down, but all to that, really. Can I jump up on the side? Nope. Despite this clearly being a cage made for easy hand-holding, 
not made specifically for that purpose, but it would be able to you know, be used in that fashion. I cannot even touch it, and so I shall outwit the game. He says, hopefully, expecting a certain degree of failure. Ah, oh, good. Okay. Okay. Wait for it. Jump! Ah, got you now, Cage. Ah, weren't expecting this, were you? Michael Roy, parkour expert, don't you know? I'm going to get punched off the edge by this thing now. Ah, nice. Nice. Right, what's the point of this? Yeah, because I'm going to have to do rope climbing now, aren't I? I can already see it. Yeah, there's no way I can get up on top of that cage. Barrel? Mm, barrel's probably not going to give me enough height. No. Doesn't even measure up half the height of the cage. I'm going to save my game. Because, you know, I am inevitably going to fuck this up. And uh, when I do, I don't have to keep doing this over and over again. And just load straight back up to this point in the game. <laughs> Help to actually get a little bit forward so you can actually grab onto it, you know. Can't see anything except your back muscles. I can't remember the proper name for that. Once upon a time, when I was a somewhat of a fitness freak, I probably could have named every single muscle depicted there on Mike's textured back. These days, no, not a clue. It's no longer used. Ooh, this. <laughs> Just as I planned, I mean, you know. Good attention for you all. And that Govy there is now Mike. In fact, how did you get up here and why is it here? We've already established that they need these Dark Souls to implant into the true form. I've got an extra soul level. Nice! I can now unlock... What can I unlock? Oh, I can unlock the, um... Ah, uh, what is it now? Temple of Fire? Yeah, the Temple of Fire. Wherein we get the Marcher Gad. I can actually unlock the doorway to that now. Yes, yes! Uh... I can't remember how you get into that little place where we saw the guy shooting at us, though. Hmm. Yeah, that bit over there. Really cannot remember. I'll have to, to save again, see if I can like, ride the top of the cage, but I don't think I can. It's like right up against the ceiling, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, balls to it. We don't need to do it, so we're not going to try. Uh, there's an open doorway down here, though. Ah! Well, this doesn't look promising. This doesn't look promising at all. Room full of pigmen! Like I said, not promising. Nice of the Ow! Do you mind? If I can't see you, you can't shoot me. Ow! We fucking stop that! It's incredibly un... Unkind? Yeah. No, go, yeah, we'll go with Unkind. I don't know why I suddenly blanked on the words there. Perhaps I'm developing word blindness. Which, uh, is a real thing. If anyone's wondering. I know I spout a lot of bullshit on this, but yeah, that's an actual thing. Although word blindness is mainly to do with reading rather than speaking, but still, you get the general idea. <sighs> See, for that, I'm having some sort of, uh, minor aneurysm in the Wernicke's area. And even as I say that, I'm suddenly aware that I can't quite remember whether it's the Wernicke's or the Brockers area that does with um, speech in spoken form. Oh, whatever. Not terribly important at this precise moment. Like I'm being invigilated at all. Perhaps I am. Perhaps there are YouTube censors right now marking me down for lack of uh, acuity. Surprise me. Probably a Google Plus feature, you know. Ah, <sighs> fuck me yeah. Oh, speaking of which, um, I don't know when this is good. Well, I know when this is gonna go out. It's gonna be probably in about a week or so's time when this part catches up with everything else I'm doing. Uh, Honorable Assassins. Uh, I know you added me to your Google Plus circle thing, but I haven't responded because I have no idea what that is or what it does. So, yeah. If it's a social media thing, there's no point adding me, because I don't use social media of any sort. If it has some actual, you know, um, proper function in relation to YouTube, feel free to tell me. 
Yeah. It's just another thing like um, YouTube trying to get me to link my Facebook page and crap. I don't have one, so, you know, there's no point to it. That's another Gerby, which I cannot reach with a flying leap. Disappointing. Everything is much improved with flying leaps, I've always found. So, yeah, um, no, I'm going to stick with that. Everything is improved with a flying leap. Think of something? I could improve it with a flying leap. Serving pudding, flying leap. Tennis, flying leap. Other activities, flying leap. <clears throat> yeah, there only is. I would lean away from my microphone there to cough. Uh, I'm probably going to edit it out anyway, so you know, oh, guys aren't going to hear it, but still. There's a certain irony to the fact that that cough is probably going to come across louder and more clearly than me talking directly into the microphone like this. Definitely entirely figured out why that is. Hmm. Speaking of not figuring things out, that cage, the one that's got the Govi and that we just saw, that should be moving right now. And yet it isn't. Why is it not moving? I did definitely push the switch, right? I think I did. Okay, I'm pretty damn certain I did. So why or why is the cage not moving? Hmm. It should definitely be moving back and forth towards us. Unless there's an engineer's key section over there, perhaps. I have to get up there to make it move? In which case, why have I not found a path that lets me up there? The only other door in this room is locked. Hmm. Clearly I'm missing something here. Go do a bit of exploring, shall we, boys and girls? Exploring, exploring. Looking around for things. Okay. Nope. I definitely cannot grab onto the ledge. The ledge is quite tiny anyway, but still. Hmm. Clearly there are things... There are things I'm missing here. Dark and terrible things. All these things that would explain my current predicament, anyhow. Hmm. Definitely something not right. In the traditional sense of the word, anyhow. Hmm. I don't just... God, see, I miss being able to do, like, little collision detection glitches and stuff from the N64 version. I mean, obviously, I know it's not in the spirit of the game, per se, but still. It was nice, you know. Just being able to find that little edge that hadn't been coded properly during the port down. Just, you know, leap magnificently. Glitch upward through a wall. And arrive at your destination ahead of time. Okay, I flicked the switch, but nothing happened. Nothing I could see it. Maybe, maybe perhaps I'll stop that cage where you move this one. No. No, it has not. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to run around for a bit and try and puzzle this out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Because I'm running for... Yeah, just over 20 minutes. That's not that's not terrific, but it's not too bad either. Actually, it might not be the next episode, but it'll, I'll rejoin you, you know, when I can. Okay. So, for better or worse, I couldn't figure out what the hell I was doing wrong. So, I'm just going to carry on exploring the rest of the gateways for a little while. And, uh... So if, I, if I can't find anything here either, I guess i got no choice but to go on that sky car over there through to the engine block, I want to say. Which, uh, incidentally, the engine block is actually the, technically speaking, the last area of the game. Or at the very least, it leads to the final boss, anyway. Why can't I move? I hate it when he does that. Just grab the pissing side, Michael. Let's go. There we go. Your smouldering red tattoos. That... Those are amazing, I've got to admit. Well, amazing might be overstating it, but they're pretty damn awesome anyway. I go from amazing to awesome. Yeah, that's a step down, so well done. Well done. Fucking hell. Right, okay. Okay. It's enough self-reproach for one episode. We already failed to find X, Y, and Z, so let's hope we can at least find something in this general direction, shall we? I see windy corridors of doom, so I shall be sneaky and strafe with the best of them. You know, believe it or not, this is actually a tactic I miss from current generations of the game. 
strafing is a legitimate way of, you know, not dying. I miss that. I really, really do. A definite doodage in that direction. Hopefully, he's not a guy with a gun. Probably won't be, actually. I mean, this is signed by acclaim. They're more about their puzzles and their platforming than their enemy placement as such. Yeah, it's most likely going to be a hook guy. If this was a farm game, obviously there'd be two of them with sniper rifles. Or had a tendency to fire when you're in the midst of trying to do a complex jumping puzzle. A maximum damage and all that bollocks. Speaking of which... Ooh, piss it out. How'd you almost miss that jump from so close? That's a special kind of stupid. Speaking of which... Die, would you son? Damn, still three shots, even at level six? Level six? Yeah, level six. Is level six? Yeah, level six. Maximum shadow level is level ten, so yeah, this is six. Actually, easier to count the places that aren't yet filled in purple. The dark purple with black line divides? Yeah. As easy as it sounds, trying to decide. Speaking of which, how do I get over there? You know, without carking it. A terrible feeling, I'm probably going to need the march again, aren't I, so I can walk across the coals below me. As soon as I can, I probably should leap up a couple of platforms and be there. But is there any way of getting there ahead of time? Perhaps I can stand on top of the cages, maybe? This is a air vent around here I haven't spotted yet. Nope. You know, a lot of these metal rooms are just completely pointless. Hmm. I'm definitely thinking of getting on top of these cages and leaping across the gap, maybe. Just save my game in case I bugger this up. Huh? I'll have to run all the way back here. I don't even run, climb across all that crap again. This all... Yeah, yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay, I can do this, I can do this. I believe in myself. I believe in Mike. I believe in gauges. Okay, okay. What I wouldn't give for Mike to have the ability to walk backward at at least a reasonable pace. Right, first thing, first things first, we leap. Oh, that's a good start. See you next time, folks.